This week, there were some major developments on the AI video frontier. Google's VO2 image to video mode is now released on FreePick. VO2 was showing next-gen performance and working almost like a cinematic physics engine. We will see if it can repeat the same performance with image to video. Additionally, the state-of-the-art open-source AI video model Alibaba 1 2.1 has a new version, One Pro. One Pro generates high-quality 1080p videos at 30 frames per second with up to 6 seconds duration. So, in this epic prompt battle, I will test Google VO2 against Klink 1.6, One Pro, Hylio Minimax and Lumaray 2. Let's get started. In this first challenge, initially we are starting with the blue butterfly. This is gonna be our first frame. And after that, we have a cinematic focus change and we switch to a wolf walking into the scene. Here we are testing the prompt understanding of the models, how well they can implement cinematic camera movements. I was very impressed with the VO2's result, how smoothly Wolf enters to the scene, butterflies natural flutter and just flying away. It looked very cinematic and cool. And in the end of the shot, you will realize that a second Wolf enters to the scene. If I want to go perfectionist on that, I could say I was looking for a single Wolf walking into the scene but this is not a major problem. I was also very impressed that Vio gave me the dynamic focus shift from butterfly to wolf's head. Clink 1.6 didn't give me the wolf entering to the scene, just kept zooming in to my butterfly. I was expecting much better from Clink on this challenge, it surprised me a little bit, but it didn't actually give me what I asked for. One pro output is impressive. I really liked how amazingly light and shadows are rendered in this shot. Butterfly looks really alive, and natural and I like that Wolf enters to the scene exactly how I described. I have even a focus shift which is really impressive. One issue I realized with one, it tend to desaturate the initial image always. It always decreases the brightness a little bit. Hylio gave me third wings. The third wings appeared so we lost the coherence right away at the beginning of the shot. You will realize that in the end of the shot it actually gave me the Wolf. But if I would compare this to, for example, VO2 output or One Pro's output, it doesn't look as cinematic as the other output. But from prompt understanding perspective, Hylio did a good job. Umare 2 output unfortunately didn't give me the focus shift. Instead, again, a common mistake in these AI video tools, they tend to give user a scene shift instead of a focus shift. So in the second part of the prompt, there was a wolf and then scene changes to a distinct separate wolf scenery. So among all the results, I think Lumare had the worst result from my perspective. In the next challenge, we have a battlefield. This is a combination of natural elements of water, fire, lightning. We have metaphysical elements as well as soldiers and banners. We asked in the prompt that we want a high speed POV shot, that I wanted camera to flow through the battlefield, show me the banners and flags, and then we would jump into the vortex and go through different universes. At least this is what I dreamed of. One major problem with VO2 output was, initially, soldiers looked frozen. This is a common mistake for image to video models. Sometimes you can realize that the initial image frame, couple of seconds can be frozen, and after that model figures out what to do. I am impressed with how bears are moving in the wind, the flames, you will realize that lightning is static and it's not moving and after that everything starts moving and then we got also a vortex coming in. It didn't do a horrible job except the initial frame freeze. The clink output gave me the fly through of the battlefield. It gave me the vortex and I like how smooth the motion was. You can see moving flags and flames. So overall I'm happy with the clink result. One pro also gave me exactly what I asked for, the POV camera flying through, and I liked how Vortex looks really dynamic and the whole shot looked really dynamic. Same issue again, that everything gets super dark in one output. Brightness drop is massive. In this particular shot, it actually worked to our advantage. It made the Vortex even more obvious and beautiful to look at. In other times, this can be a little distracting. I think Luma Ray was really committed to give me multiple universes. I got a fly through from medieval age to space age with a particularly interesting helicopter looking toy car. Unfortunately, in comparison to other outputs, 
it is difficult to say that Luma tried here. I would prefer a fly through in the battlefield. I think it would look much more cinematic before entering to the vortex. I'm happy with the Minimax's output. It looks pretty cinematic. It, it gave me renders of natural elements like fire and power surge and even lightning. So I'm overall very happy with the Minimax result. In the next challenge, we have a female runner at the Olympics. In this particular challenge, I'm trying to understand the physics understanding of these models and anatomy, of course, and how well they can render human anatomy. Starting with VO2, you will realize few coherence issues, both in the leg, in the upper body as well. On the background of the initial frame, quality dropped really major. You can almost not see anything else. There is a strong motion blur, as we ask for. Overall, it's a good result with some coherence issues on the upper body in particular and one time in the legs as well. You can realize the motion and movement in the hair. The clink output decided to give me a bit of a slow motion. So in comparison to VO2, this shot looks a little bit more static, but the muscles and the movement of the runner and the coherence is simply fantastic. It kept the coherence of the anatomy and the movement throughout the shot, which was very impressive. I like that one output rendered the background elements a little bit better, but running doesn't really look as natural as VO2 and clink outputs. This little bit disappointed me about one. It is not horrible, but there are some coherence issues. The whole movement looks a little bit jumpy to me in comparison to impressive anatomical coherence and natural running movement of the first two models. It's, from my perspective, a little behind. The Hylio Minimax gave me a much better anatomy and the natural movement of running. Only problem when it comes to Hylio is the quality here. The details of the body and the muscles are not as visible as Kling output or VO output, but still impressive result. Luma Ray rendered the whole scene really well. It's just randomly decided to empty the whole stadium. Couldn't really render audience as good as VO and Clink, but overall I think it did a good job. It kept the coherence of the anatomy and I'm not disappointed with the Luma Ray result. In the last challenge we have a warrior attacking with a blade and we have a circling orbiting camera. After the attack I would like to see the breeze are lifting into the air with the force of the attack. It's a complex prompt and there's a lot going on here. It's not a straightforward one, but a good challenge for our models. Google's VO2 output again decided to freeze the first frame. It didn't give me the attack with the blades until the very end of the shot. And I didn't get the camera circling our character, unfortunately. The physics of the debris, the explosion and moving objects look pretty awesome. But overall, I was underwhelmed with this shot. Clink gave me a much more dynamic shot, a circling camera and a nice swing of the blade. In the middle of the shot, we lost coherence of our character, got it back later in the last frame. But overall for me, this shot looked much more dynamic than Google's VO2. Yet, of course, it definitely requires a reroll, or maybe the first part of the shot can be used until the decoherence part. One pro output looked more like a dance for me, or almost like a bit of like anime fight. It can be also thought as he's burning and he's in pain or this intense fire causing him to invent a new dance. We can make many comments. For me, it's not the best result among the other outputs here. I like the Hylio output because it gave me what I asked for. There's an attack, there is some camera movement, a bit of circling, not much, but it looked cool and cinematic. It's just the explosion on the background looks pretty much frozen. I like that the bees are moving around. Overall, I think it did a fantastic job here. Dumore 2 lost the coherence at the beginning of the shot and instead of a single blade, it gave me two swords by magic. If this would be in an online game, I would definitely accept this offer. I mean, replacing one blade with two swords is a good deal. In this particular scenario, Lumare output didn't really give us what we asked for. So my final verdict, and these are my personal opinions, just as a reminder, I'm not associated with any of these brands. Google VO2 is delivering exceptional visual quality and motion diversity, but there is initial frame freeze problem, and this requires improvement. It definitely has potential to catch up with Clink 1.6, if it can solve this initial frame problem. And here and there, I observed some minor coherence issues, 
with some optimization, I think it would be a fantastic competition for Clink. One Pro is a very good model, but coherence seems far behind Clink, VO2 and Hylio Mini Max. It also makes the footages a little bit darker because of some reason. This probably requires further optimization, but overall it's a model with a massive potential. From my perspective, the Lumar A2 is far behind all models mentioned above. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials and prompt battles. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.